So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P0302 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P0302 code? Well, it's a cylinder to misfire detected. And what does this mean? Well, there's multiple cylinders inside of an engine and each cylinder needs to have the right air fuel ratio mixture going into it. And this is done with the fuel injector and the air intake. And then the spark needs to happen to set all this mixture off so that the cylinder is working properly. And when you get a misfire, there's something's gone wrong with this. Either the fuel's not going in correctly or the spark's not happening correctly. But there's some kind of issue with that and it's going to need to be troubleshooted. No why. And different cylinders will give you different codes. So for example, a P0301 would be cylinder number one and a P0302 would be cylinder number two. So the first thing to do is to go locate this cylinder two on your particular Ford because that's a cylinder that's having the issue and the one that needs to be checked out. And so what are some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad spark plug or it could be a bad spark plug wire going to it. It could be a bad coil. It could be a bad injector. And if you have an older Ford that has a distributor, it might be a bad distributor cap. And it's also possible that it's a mechanical problem like a bad valve or a bad lifter. But that's fairly rare. Usually when you get a misfire code, it's going to be either a bad spark or there's something gone wrong with the fuel going into the cylinder. And so how would you go about troubleshooting a Ford with the P0302 code? Well, first thing to do would be locate that cylinder number two. And once you locate it, there's some different ways you go about troubleshooting it. Check out the spark plug wire going to it really good. If you have an ejector coil that slides in and out, you can pull it out and check it for any cracks or anything like this, any kind of damage. Sometimes oil can even get on those and cause them to mess up and things like this. And one of the first things to do is to check to see if you're getting spark going to that cylinder. And there's a few ways you go about doing this. Some people hold the spark plug wire really close to metal and see if the spark jumps. The method I like to use, I use one of these low cost inline spark testers. These are real low cost, they're like less than $10. I'll put a link down below if you need one. And basically one side goes on the spark plug and the other side goes to the coil and then you start the engine and if you're getting spark you'll see the spark inside of here and then you know you're getting spark but the first thing to go and do is check and be sure that you're getting spark if you're not getting no spark then check out the spark plug wire if you have a coil pack it might be having an issue if you have injector coils you can't swap it with the one next to it and just to see if the problem follows so for example you can swap it with cylinder number one and then you could clear the codes and then if you get a p0301 code then you know that injector is bad and needs to be replaced but the first thing to go and do would be to check for spark. You can also remove the spark plug and be sure that it's good, especially if the vehicle has a lot of miles on it. It might just be time to change out those spark plugs. If you're getting good spark, then the next thing to go and check out is going to be the injector. And again, there's some different ways you go about testing these injectors. One thing to keep in mind with these injectors is the wiring going to it. If anything goes wrong with that, then it would cause the same symptoms as a bad injector. But there's some different ways you go about testing these injectors. You can swap it with the one next to it and see if the problem follows. If you have a multimeter, you could test them for resistance, which is basically ohms. You set the meter on ohms and then you check to see what it is. And if you check the resistance on the cylinders that are working, so like the fuel injector right next to it, the resistance should be fairly close. If it's like hugely different or if you're not getting anything at all, then that points to a sign of a bad injector. The injectors can also become clogged up or different things like this. So like I said, there's a few different ways you could test these injectors, but the next thing to go and do would be to test the injector located at cylinder number two. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P0302 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.